Japanese automakers probably have the most solid record of delivering reliable car models, which also combine competitive performance characteristics and the most innovative tech. Each model year is yet another test that determines whether their products will stay ahead of the game or will fall behind more daring companies from other parts of the world. Let's take a look at the 2019 newcomers and the already announced 2020 models from Japan to decide if their cars are gonna be worth our money. Subscribe to Automotive Territory to get the latest updates about the new videos and enjoy the ride! Mazda CX-30 One of the most unexpected unveils of the 2019 Geneva is the all-new Mazda CX-30. The compact crossover is positioned between the brand subcompact CX-3 and the mid-size CX-5 offerings and it continues Mazda's unique Japanese coded design language with its simple but elegant and dynamic exterior. Inside the model shares its cabin features with the updated Mazda 3, getting a new steering wheel, spacious console layout and a larger 8.8-inch infotainment. It also comes with the brand's new seats that are built to repeat the curvature of the human spine. It is still unclear what engine options the new crossover will get, but Mazda has revealed that the 2.0-liter four-cylinder Sky Active is definitely on the table. It should be rated at around 180 horses, paired with a six-speed manual or automatic, and the front-wheel drive or an optional iActive all-wheel drive. Toyota Corolla Sedan Following the redesign of its hatchback sibling, the Corolla Sedan is entering the next generation as well. From now on, it rides on the Toyota scalable TNGA platform that already underpins the Avalon, Camry and CHR. The chassis is now a little stiffer and the multi-link rear suspension replaces the torsion beam differential, which results in smoother ride and quieter cabin. The front fascia has been reworked and brought to speed with the latest design trends, plus the higher sporty trims get more aggressive elements. Among the available engines are a 139 horsepower 1.8 liter and a 169 horsepower 2.0 liter four cylinders, exclusive to the SE and the XSE trims. Moreover, the model is also represented in the hybrid modification that shows outstanding 52 mpg. All in all, seven trims are available, but regardless of the chosen package, expect to get access to the latest active safety features from Toyota. Honda Passport. This new large SUV is resurrecting the Passport moniker, which existed back in 1990s and belonged to the Honda-batched engineered version of the Isuzu Rodeo. It will slot between the CRV and Pilot in terms of size and will sit five people. The Passport is built on the light truck platform as the latter mentioned model, but will have a six inches shorter wheelbase. The standard engine to power this SUV will be a 3.5 liter IVT CV6 with 280 horsepower output coupled with a nine speed automatic transmission. While the front-wheel drive is standard, the Passport will get an optional torque vectoring all-wheel drive system with intelligent traction management. Among the sweet tech features are the 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, Apple and Android compatibility, Honda Sensing driver safety and assistance system. We must mention that even though it comes from the Japanese manufacturer, the Passport is a pure American SUV, being developed and built on the US soil. Mazda 3 this newcomer is replacing the third-generation model that has been around for six years and had managed to establish itself as a worthy contender on the market of compact automobiles. Surprisingly, it actually keeps the amazing looks teased by the beautiful Kai concept and follows the second-generation Koto design language. Moreover, it shifts itself towards the premium segment. The new Mazda 3 is offered in the sedan and five-door hatchback body styles, which look similar but manage to keep distinctive nature of their own. The car is offered in five engine configurations, the 1.5, 2.0 and 2.5 liter gasolines and a 1.8 liter diesel. And what is truly interesting is the implementation of the innovative Sky Active X engine with compression ignition, which offers high torque and efficiency of a diesel and free revving characteristics of a gasoline plant. Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro Don't act surprised. The seven-seater behemoth is still manufactured by Toyota without groundbreaking changes for more than a decade. In 2020, though, the giant is getting the TRD Pro treatment to hit the off-road alongside the Tacoma, Forerunner and Tundra. The upgrades include the installation of the new Fox Performance internal bypass dampers both at the front and rear, 18-inch forged PBS wheels and a heavy-duty front skid plate, which visually and probably practically improves the ruggedness of this SUV. 
The power still comes from a 5.7 liter V8 engine paired with a 6 speed electronically controlled automatic. This powertrain makes 381 horses and 401 pound feet of torque. Plus, the multi mode four wheel drive comes standard on the Sequoia and uses the new Torsen central locking differential for optimal torque distribution. In addition, the Sequoia receives upgraded multimedia and audio systems with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and Amazon Alexa compatibility. Subaru Legacy Subaru prides its models for being highly reliable, long-lasting, and safe, and the all-new Legacy sedan is not an exception. According to the company's statistics, 96% of all Legacy models sold in the last 10 years are still fully functional and on the road. In 2020, the car is entering its seventh generation, retaining a familiar exterior but sitting on an all-new platform. The sedan has a lower gravity center and much better soundproofing. Plus, it features slightly restyled front and rear LED lights and a new interior with either two 7-inch displays or an 11.6-inch infotainment screen. Just as the last year, a 2.5-liter direct injection boxer engine is standard, but it now nets 182 horses and 176 pound-feet of torque. In addition, an all-new 260-horsepower 2.4-liter turbo is added to the lineup as a standard engine for the new Touring XD trim. If you're not into Japanese cars, consider checking out some other video suggestions that we have for you in the description, or maybe click one of those pop-up banners. Let's keep rolling! Toyota Supra The all-new Supra became one of those car models that divide the automotive community into two opposing camps. There are people who hate the newcomer since it failed to live up to the hype, and those who actually like it for what it is, a decent sports coupe with a rich history paved by the predecessors. It is not a secret that it was designed alongside the latest BMW Z4, but supposedly it should be a car of its own. Both will share the platform and the powertrain, so be ready to find the 3.0-liter straight-six turbo under the hood that makes 335 horses and 369 pound-feet of torque channeled to the rear wheels via an 8-speed automatic. Plus, the presence of a manual is still under discussion. The performance coupe has 50-50 weight distribution, does 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds, and tops the speedometer at 155 mph. And finally, remember, without Supra, you cannot be a master driver. Mitsubishi Outlander Sport The name of this crossover is determined by the region where you're shopping. It is known either as the ASX in Europe, Outlander Sport in North America, and RVR in Asia. This model is receiving a major overhaul in 2020, though it is still not an all-new generation of the vehicle. The front fascia of the Outlander Sport adopts the latest brand's language represented by the dynamic shields, plus LED headlight and taillights are added to the package. In order to add ruggedness to the exterior look, fresh silver skid plates were installed. The US is expecting to receive an engine source from the Eclipse Cross, which is a 1.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, 152 horses strong but solid details are yet unknown. The European specs of the crossover suggest the naturally aspirated 2.0-liter gasoline combined with a 5-speed manual and an optional CVT that mimics the 6 gears. Nissan Murano This premium crossover by Nissan joins the company's 2019 lineup with minor design tweaks and a bunch of new tech. The restyled fascia, new LED headlights and running lights give it the fresher and more company-streamlined look, but it is still recognizable as the third-generation Murano. The interior changes are a bit more noticeable, with the available new leather seats and upholstery styling. Sold in the front-wheel drive and the all-wheel drive configurations, the Murano's drivetrain is carried over from the last year with no changes. The 3.5-liter V6 engine nets 260 horsepower and 240 pound-feet of torque, and it is paired with a CVT. Tech-wise, the Murano features an 8-inch infotainment system that comes with full smartphone services support and USB-C ports as standard. To sweeten the deal, the model comes equipped with Nissan Safety Shield 360 tech, which includes automatic emergency braking, pedestrian detection, and blind spot warning, among other driver assistance features. Lexus LC Convertible Concept even though the name of the car still carries the concept moniker, in reality it looks like the production-ready prototype that was released basically to gather media reviews, polish rough edges, and celebrate the third anniversary of the LC Coupe's launch. This roadster has smooth lines and looks rather compact, 
but still has a 2 plus 2 seating design finished with white leather. The dashboard has a symmetrical design and clutter-free layout with a large infotainment screen in the middle. The grille is massive and 22-inch wheels give it a rather striking look. The 2019 presentation of the Lexus LC convertible concept at the Detroit Auto Show was welcomed with great enthusiasm, so we should expect the model to hit the road in the nearest future with similar specifications as those of the coupe counterpart. Mitsubishi Engelberg Tourer The recently unveiled Engelberg Tourer was named after the Swiss ski resort. The newcomer is a plug-in hybrid that can cover up to 43 miles on a charge with a powertrain built around the 2.4-liter gasoline engine. Among the worthy features of the concept should be highlighted the super all-wheel drive control, which constantly adjusts SUV systems to prevent crashing. Sadly, Mitsubishi is known for creating rather intriguing car concepts, which usually are never brought to the market due to the lack of funds. But the Engelberg starts to look rather realistic, so our hopes of the production model are still high. We have to admit that Japanese cars are not the most beautiful examples of automaking, but they definitely steal the show with undying engines, practical construction and high safety ratings. If you would like to learn about the competition that Japanese are facing, check out the suggested episodes on the screen. Come back soon to automotive territory and may the torque be with you!